welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another Hybe Edition photo card binder update. So we have my TXT, my BTS, and my Hypen binders. Now I do, of course, have a few BTS binders, so I just have one in the frame right now. And then we have my Hypen binder and my TXT binder. Now, these are probably going to be changed a little bit towards the end of the year. I do have some binders, new binders on the way, bigger binders because TXT is bursting at the seams <laughs> and I'm sure in Hypen is getting there and even some of my BTS binders are getting quite, quite full. So I'm going to be changing the binders a little bit um, coming soon, but for right now, I did want to just do some updates because again, the photo cards just pile up so quickly. So I did want to um, store some of these, especially before the end of the year, um, when I'll probably be doing my uh, binder flip throughs for all of my collections. January will be my one year kind of anniversary on YouTube. So maybe some flip throughs for that. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited to see all of these collections growing and so many beautiful photo cards and inclusions to add to these. So let's just get started because I don't want this to be super long, but there is quite a lot to go through. So we're going to start with Enhypen, then we'll do TXT and then we'll do BTS. And yeah, let's just get going. All right. So this is my Enhypen binder. I do have this print from Border Carnival on the front. But yeah, let's just, let's dive right in. I do have my little <laughs> um, box here that has hypen on it. So this is where I put all the photo cards that need to be stored away in here. This is a, a box that I got from like a book subscription um, that I used to do. And so I kept quite a few of the boxes because I really liked, you know, how I could use these for so many other things and look, found a use for them. <laughs> so I do have all my photo cards in here for Enhypen, which is mainly J because if you're new to my channel, I do bias J and he is who I mainly collect um, for Enhypen. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I think I do have some Border Carnival stuff to put away. Yes, here. Ooh, some exciting stuff. I think we're actually going to be completing this page and it's going to be so exciting. So I do have the Yijiu um, round one and round two um, photo cards. So we have this adorable Jay. I love Jay with this little like puppy dog. I can't like, it warms my heart. I love it so much. And then I do have the other MTU lucky draw finally. So we can put him in here. All right, and then, yes, I do have both Power Station Lucky Draws as well. Here we have them. I am not a fan of this one, just this like double, I don't even know, look he has going on here. It's just weird, <laughs> I don't know. But I think we will put that one there because I do wanna keep my favorite of the Lucky Draws in the center for each version, so there we go. <laughs> and then I kind of wish that round two of Yijiu was like from this version, but it's not, it's from the up version. <laughs> so, oh well, <laughs> he's just gonna go right here and complete the page, which I hate that he's down here and the rest of the same concepts up there, but what are you gonna do? So we have the two lucky draws from each store. And then we have, this I think is the Masima. Yeah, Masima and then the two Yijis. So they fit really nicely on this one pocket page. So I'm a-okay with that, but glad to finally be complete with this. Um, and I did secure all of these right before their most recent comeback. Um, Dimension Dilemma, so whew, glad to have those completed. Um, I do have Jay's Shopee pre-order benefit as well. So 
So here he is. I This is that phone tag thing from the merch <laughs> um, that I sillily like really bought. <laughs> Fooled the Lulu, but I cut the tab off and put him in here. And it kind of works out because it's kind of like that similar outfit and look. So it works for me. Um, and then I'm still taking my time on these. These are those fever um, pre-order benefits, but it's the two units in the group. And I just thought it would look good with these um, group photo cards to just kind of mirror them down here. So I am looking for those still, but they're not high priority. <laughs> okay, and then we get to their Japanese comeback, um, which I do have the lucky draw, which is so just look at him. Oh, I love this photo card so much, but so happy to put him away. And then I do have this one secured and it's supposed to be on the way. They did mail it, but it's coming all the way from China and I'm not sure if he's lost or if he's going to make it. So we'll have to see because I also bought something else from them after this J. Um, you know, mass period of benefit and it got to me already just last week, but this one still hasn't. So I'm a little nervous that he might not show up. So I might have to repurchase him and that is going to be a bummer because these things are not cheap, <laughs> but almost done with this page. If I could just get this one, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay, and here uh, we're gonna start diving into Dimension Dilemma. I did not do a binder setup for this. It just came up so quickly and I just didn't have time. So in prepping for this binder update, I just kind of threw this all together. So we're just gonna, you know, go with it. And I don't have all of the uh, photo cards yet. They're still on the way, but I do have all of Jay's hollows. <laughs> What worked nicely is that there was one photo card for each of the versions and then one photo card for each of the versions in the essential edition and then just one hollow. So it works out nicely that it's gonna fill a really nice um, nine pocket page. I do have his Scylla Essential as well. I did find a trade for the regular album PC so he is on the way. And then I have the Odysseus Hollow to go right here. And then I do have the Charybdis Irregular photo card to put away here. And then the Hollow <laughs> to go here. And yeah, it's a work in progress. We're almost there. <laughs> some of these are on the way. Some I'm still looking for trades, but love to see a page coming through. And I love all of these signatures on the back. Oh, it's gonna look so good when it comes together. All right, this is the hodgepodge page because I didn't know how I wanted to do this. We're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> but we're gonna start with these regular um, edition photo card, group photo cards at the top because there are two group photo card sets, one with the regular albums, one with the essential. I do have the Charybdis, no wait, yes, I do have the Charybdis one. I have the Odysseus one on the way, so that is good. And then I decided, <laughs> As you can see, Kitty Jake, I pulled him and I just can't give him up. So he is going to be displayed right here in the center where he deserves to be um, because it's like the most like adorable like photo card in the whole, whole world. Just look at it. <laughs> but I wanted to keep him so bad. So there he is. He is in the center. And then we have the Target exclusive photo card right here, which is the um, Odysseus version uh, concept, and then the Weaver's pre-order benefit, which is also the Odysseus uh, concept as well. So because 
the Odysseus groups are going to be here. I figured because these two cards are both the Odysseus concept that they would look okay on this page. So here we go. We'll see how it goes, but I think that'll look okay. <laughs> And then I do have all three of the group photo cards for the Essential Edition as well. So we'll put those in here. Okay. I kind of wish they were like slightly different. They're so, so similar <laughs> to each other. Like literally they're in the same position. They're just doing something different with their hands or their face. But you know what? I am a fool for a good group photo card, so here we are. Almost done. We just need this group photo card, which is on the way, but yay. Love having Center Jake Kitty here. It makes my heart full. And then I have a page for the Lucky Draws, which I do have secured uh, through my good friend Faye, who I'll link down below. I joined all their goes for all of the in hype and pre-order benefits. <laughs> Um, but I do have a page secured for the lucky draws and then just the other pre-order benefits. So those are those two pages. Those hopefully will fill up pretty soon. <laughs> um, and then next is just, I do have, let me see, I do have all of these um, prepped. I pulled them apart, they're ready to go, but I don't have the six pocket sleeves that these fit in yet. It's on the way. Um, I purchased some more from Andy Jack. So they are not here yet. So we're just gonna save these and set these aside for next time. But I do have the Japanese postcard set. Um, so that we are going to put away in here. Um, and I have a section already prepared here it in here. Yes, here we go. Postcards. Got it. <laughs> so we're going to just put all of the postcards away real quick. I do have new, um, well not new, but new and more of the four pockets from Andy Jack. They finally restocked a little bit. And I quickly snagged quite a few. <laughs> so I do like to Put all of the numbers in here. I just really do love the postcards. I think they're always so beautiful and I love storing them in my binder. So here we are <laughs> with the postcards for the Japanese comeback. And they do look all so beautiful. And I love that they include a group one as well because it works out nicely to go just to, to fill a, well, it works out nicely so that you can fill two four pocket pages perfectly, which works for me. Perfect, those are so beautiful. I love them so much. Okay, and then I do have the Target exclusive postcard as well as the Weavers pre-order benefit postcard as well. So I'm really glad that these are two different concepts as well. So we've got the Odysseus concept and then we have the Charybdis concept. <laughs> so at least there are two different concepts for these postcards. I don't mind if they're the same, but sometimes I do like to display something different <laughs> in the binders. So I'm glad that these are both different. And there we go. They look so good together. And then I did pre-put these in the binder. So this is that like folded like mini poster thing that was in the essential. So this side has these two photos. Then the other side has the silver concept photo. And then here we have the mini posters. So I have Jay here, and then I put the sticker that goes with that um, concept set at the top. Same with the Odysseus page, which I do have Odysseus Jay mini poster on the way. 
and then the same for the Charybdis page. So I put those in ahead of time, that way they could just be secure and ready to go. Sometimes it's easier to put larger inclusions in ahead of time, but that is it for an hype in. So did it quite a bit here, putting away the Dimension Dilemma album photo cards and inclusions and then also oh, finishing that beautiful border carnival pre-order benefit lucky draw page truly makes my heart so happy so let's end on that page <laughs> here it is oh so beautiful so thankful to have this page done but let's move on to txt now all right, so next is the TXT binder. And like I said, this is definitely going to be changed and moved and somehow reorganized into a new binder soon because we are literally bursting at the seam. Oh, so much TXT. It makes me so happy though. <laughs> but, whew, don't have the binders here yet, so it's all going to be squished into here for now. Hopefully it doesn't get too, too bulky, but that binder is on the way. So hopefully very, very soon <laughs> I'll be able to switch it out and make them a little more comfy. But we do have quite a bit to put away here, especially from their Act Boy online concert that they did recently. So let's just get started. Um, if you're new to my channel, I do double bias in TXT. I bias Bungu and Taeyang, and so I do collect them both um, as much as I can, not very thoroughly, um, especially with their earlier uh, pre order benefit non album stuff. Um, but I try to get as much as I can, especially with the things that I like. But today we are going to be finally finishing Chaos Chapter Fight or Escape. I last minute decided that I wanted to collect OT5 because I had so many <laughs> albums that I could do it. So we have the last photo cards for Fight or Escape today, and it's feeling so nice to put them in. So we have Hunikai's card um, and Bumkyu's to make our beautiful tea. Oh, so happy. They look so good together. I love it. Then we did have this escape version complete. We have the Star Seeker cards. I finally have the Weverse pre order benefits for both Bumgyu and Taeyang. So here they are. We can add them in finally. Oh, so precious. And I decided to set it up this way because their pre order benefit cards are the same outfits as this um, <laughs> Target exclusive group card so yeah oh love it when we can finish a page makes my heart so happy <laughs> okay you know what i need a page i've forgotten something <laughs> i needed to grab a page because i do have quite a few lucky draws <laughs> to put away. Um, I was out of the country a little bit um, before this dropped. And so I just didn't have enough time to plan properly to get all the lucky draws. Um, and I really, TXT is one of my alt groups. And so I really wanted to start collecting more non-album um, items. <laughs> and so I found these for a really good deal on Mercari Japan, and so I got them in my most recent Miyokyo haul. But I am missing one Bangyu, which I did just recently purchase off of an Instagram user, so that is hopefully going to be on the way very soon. But I do have these five, and I think, I don't know. I really love them in these leather fits, but I also am a huge fan of the green because Bonkyu is wearing that like headband, so I can't 
decide which ones I want in the middle. <laughs> um, you know what, these are kind of colorful and these are dark, so we're gonna go with the leather in the middle. <laughs> That's, you know, my decision-making process. So we do have these two, um, which are the M2U Lucky Draws, and then, let's see, these two are the Soundwave, I believe. So let's put them at the top. Here. And then we will put Taeyun down here by himself and then leave this spot open for Bunky, which is on the way. But oh, so glad I could put at least these five away all together at the same time. <laughs> it feels really good to put them away. So yay, can't wait to get that Bunky and add him here but I just adore the backs as well. Just so nice looking fantastic. So I guess it really does work out that the, the blue and gray one is in the middle <laughs> and the ones that have the, per the pink and the blue on the outside. So I guess that worked in my favor. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so we do have a few bum you still dreaming photo cards to put away. I found these for a really good deal on Instagram and I just could not resist. Um, and I think this is the way, I don't know, I don't think these are gonna match up per se, <laughs> but I think this is the way I wanted to do it because there are two, um, two further away concepts and two close up concepts. So I wanted to kind of separate them like that. So I think this is how we're gonna do it. Oh, and it just looks so nice to have some more completed here. Still looking for Taeyun's uh, three other photo cards that I wanted from Still Dreaming, but not a rush. Definitely gonna take my time on it. <laughs> and then, okay. And then we have their collab that they did with, I don't even know if I know how to say this. Is it like 4-O-I-N? I, I don't, four, yeah, I'm not sure how that said, if it's an O or a zero, I don't know. <laughs> but I do have them, and then I do have their wallet PC secured from the Hybe card thing that they were, all of the artists were doing. <laughs> I hosted a go for that, so I do have Bum and Taeyun on the way, but, we're going to go ahead and just put them in up here. I couldn't resist these. I joined a go with my friend. They're just so beautiful. Like both of them. Bunky with the headband like like slays every single time. I can't. Like if anything comes out with a headband on him, like I have to have it. That just no, no questions asked. So here we are. <laughs> But they both look so good. Even Taeyeon, like his stare, whew, like, hello. But so happy to have these guys and to be adding them to my binder. Can't wait to get those two. And then this little, I don't know, random collab page will be, will be complete for now. So definitely um, looks nice together. And I think, I think I am happy with that. All right, next. We have a little bit of a ways to flip because we are going to the mini photo cards. So, whew, we've got quite a bit of them to put away. Let's see, and this there. I try to go in order as best as possible in terms of like when they are um, released and how I get them, so. That's how it's going for now. Probably might change it up later, but here we are. So many pages for so much stuff, but let's see. So I did do a couple OT5 sets for this. So, and I don't know what I was thinking 
when they decided to do 10 photo cards per member. It was just cruel, just cruel. But I thought for quite a while on how I wanted to set these up. So we will see. We will see how it looks all put together. But <laughs> this is all of the mini photo cards. So many to put away. But first we have the special set um, of photo cards. And these are those like thicker ones. They're kind of like cardboard. But this is that special set that you would get if you ordered I think it was the large pack, I think. <laughs> but I do have a six page pocket to put them in. And I really do love these photo cards. It's some of the best photo cards this year. I love the greenery concept in the background. They all look so, so good. Like Taeyeon and Hunikai in this hat. Like, so, so adorable. And I just. I'm really happy that I got this set. It looks so good, but yay. We have those. <laughs> and then I did decide to collect an OT5 set of their special um, number one cards. <laughs> so we'll do again, Subin, Yeonjun, Yeonjun looks so good with this red hair truly so so good so here we go i think i'm gonna try to see if i can cut the little boxes that these came in like the little packets and maybe put like a filler here and over here as well to kind of fill that sixth spot but that'll be for later <laughs> okay so these are two eight pocket pages um, and then I have three more six pocket pages. It took me a while to decide how I wanted to display these because there are 10 photo cards per member, which I don't like, I don't know what they were thinking. Like, hello, they know that we have eight pocket pages and we like the eight sets, but I'm over that. <laughs> and I've decided to do something a little different, so. Because I collect two members, it kind of works out nicely to where I'm going to put them on the page together. We're going to see how this looks, but we're going to go in number order. Oops. We're going to go in number order and just have one row be Bumkyu, one row be Taeyeon, and we'll see how it looks. So, um, it should work out nicely to fit on two eight pocket pages and then a six pocket page because the last page will have two of the mini photo card sets and then I also have the mini binder photo cards so that'll fill out a six page pocket but that looks nice looks nice so far so far so good <laughs> and then we have the next page which will have five through eight. Right? Yep. I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep like all of the greenery together, all the gray together, but you know what? I kind of just like going in order. So that's how <laughs> it's going to go. But it really does look so cute. Right, so there is the second page. And then of course, the last page. So, Bongyu and Taeyeon will have two of the mini photo card sets to finish out, which so it'll be nine and 10 of their sets. And then 
I have their binder photo cards. So I figured, why not put them here as well? They don't like super, super match, but they don't look bad because they're still wearing the same outfits. The lighting is just a little different. So there, <laughs> let's see how it looks. <laughs> so we have one through four, five through eight, and then nine, 10, and the binder. I don't know, I kind of like it this way. I think it works really nicely to just kind of have them sharing the pages together because there are 10 of them and I thought it would just be weird to like do it any other way, but let me know in the comments below what you think of that. And yeah, the last um, two pages are for the units. <laughs> So we're going to do the Bunk You and Young June unit first, which I am still missing one photo card, <laughs> literally one photo card. And I think it's the six out of six photo card that I'm missing. Yeah, it is. It's that one where they're doing like the little finger guns, the missing, missing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's just, that's what it is. <laughs> and then I do have all of the units, I believe, for the Subin Taeyun and Kimikai units. I do love collecting the units a whole lot. I just, because I love them as a, a group <laughs> in a whole, I love any opportunity that I can get um, OT5 sets in. So I'm here for it. I might change this like layout later. This page doesn't want to open. Might change out the order. I'm not really sure this one random different portrait <laughs> I really wish they would just stay consistent make them all this portrait make them all this portrait but not both or like five one way and one the other way come on big hit like why but that is it let's quickly flip through these act boy mini photo cards just because they look they're just so beautiful and I really really love them a whole lot. Ah, love this set. And we have the special photo cards and then we have the mini photo cards for Bumkyo and Taeyun. And then we have the rest of them with their binder photo cards. <laughs> and then the two unit pages, sadly missing this one. I feel like it's non-existent. Nobody has it. Ah, it'll be a while. And then this one. But yay, that is it for TXT. Let's move on to BTS. All right, here is my first BTS binder. Now, again, I do have three BTS binders currently. Of course, I think that's definitely going to be changing because like I said before, some of these are getting a little full. This one is still okay because it is their Korean and Japanese album photo cards. Whereas the other two are literally like everything else. <laughs> so this one is okay, but the other two are questionable <laughs> um, in terms of being super thick. But we do have my B Deluxe <laughs> box where I literally keep all my photo cards <laughs> for BTS. So let's just get started we do have quite a few fun exciting things to add into this binder so here's our little stack for this binder and let's just go let's just let's just dive right in and make some progress so first things first super excited but you're gonna finally finish map of the soul seven page with this yungi oh it's been a long time coming 
and he's finally home and he can finally go in his rightful spot. Uh, yay. Wow. Literally a year. A year I've been waiting for this spot to be filled. <laughs> Feels so nice to finally have that done. Oh, yay. All right, let's move to the B lucky draws because I finally have this Jimin. He's finally home. He can finally go in his rightful, rightful place right here where he belongs. And I am so happy to have this page complete. Oh, I thought it would never happen, but here we are. So happy to have this page done. Oh, yes, here for it. And then, guys, we've got this Jimin, oh, the Japan UMS hollow. We have him. You can barely see the hollowness through the sleeves, but he is hollow <laughs> and he is home so that he can go in that spot. And oh, wow. I don't know. It's going to be a while for me to get these ones. And these are the heart hollows, I believe. And I think they're a little more popular than some of the other ones. <laughs> so it might be a while. Okay, let's move on to butter, which I do have. Jungkook <laughs> to put away. I keep forgetting wh who else I need for this page and that's why I'm still not finished with it. So I need to remember and make note that I need Namjoon and Jin so that I can finish this page. <laughs> but great progress. <gasps> and we get to finish this page today. I'm so excited. So I do have both Jimin and Yoongi's Power Station Lucky Draws. They're so beautiful. This is by far my favorite Jimin, like, ever. <laughs> Just, he looks like a pure angel. I mean, he is, but, oh. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. And then I do have both Yoongi and Jimin's Soundwave Lucky Draws as well. So thankful to whew, finally have these. I joined some goes for these and I'm just so thankful that I was able to secure all six of these and that they're finally here. This page looks so good and makes my heart so full. Okay and then look just look at the back. Love it. <laughs> okay so next I have some more replicas to add. So again I do have these two um, replica sets and then I have another replica set to add in and that is the Hybe Insight um, butter photo cards that you could only get at Hybe and so let's be honest those are probably super pricey and I don't live in Korea so here we are with replicas <laughs> which you know you all I love replicas because it allows me to have OT7 when I otherwise wouldn't have had OT7 and I'm okay with that. Um, you know, most of my cards are official and real and not fakes. And so when I get a chance to get a replica set of an expensive or rare card, it just works out for me and makes me happy. <laughs> so I'll be sure to link down below the person who makes these replicas. They do such a good job. They're the same replicas um, as these other two sets. And so I highly recommend um, getting replicas. They're really good quality. They look really great in the binder together and it's just, it's nice to have them even when they're replicas. But if you're wondering why I set it up this way, um, I did mention in my last binder, but I'll mention it again. I do like to have my bias line in the middle. So Jimin is my bias. Um, and then Yoongi and JK are my bias wreckers. Of course, I only clicked Jimin and Yoongi because Yoongi is my like first bias worker. I, you know, I really should just come to accept that I double bias, but Jimin is like my everything. So Yoongi still has to be labeled as bias wrecker. <laughs> but uh, JK is my also, also my other bias wrecker, but I would, I, I just, I don't know if I want to cross the bridge and collect him. So here we are. 
Um, but yeah, I do have some Japanese photo cards to put away. Um, I do have these two Yoongi older Japanese photo cards. Um, so I have this I Need You and Run photo card. One of these was from my dear friend Ronan. So thank you so much for selling me this. Um, and then the other one I found on Instagram for a really good price. And I just couldn't resist when I find these older Japanese photo cards. Um, I really just want to snag them because sometimes they are far and few in between. So jump on it when you can. So I'm just going to slide them in here. There's no rhyme or reason for this page. It's just collecting older Japanese photo cards right now. And so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how it looks. <laughs> but we have the best, which I do have two more of Jimin's. Um, let's see, we have his lights and I tried to put these in somewhat of an order, but you know what, who knows at this point, at least they're in the binder. <laughs> so we have those almost done. I just need these last two Jimin's, the mic drop DNA crystal snow one, and then the costume B one. Ugh. and then Yoongi, I do have his mic drop DNA crystal snow one and his costume B on the way. And then I'm still looking for his lights on the journey um, photo cards as well. So work in progress, but making it there slowly, but surely. And then lastly, I do have some postcards to add in here from the Japanese, the best. I have the two sets here, but now that I'm seeing this, I have to show you. This was such a clown move of me. I don't even know what I was thinking that night. I don't know if I was thinking that night, but uh, you're probably wondering what these are. Yes, I did make that move and buy both Jimin and Yoongi's 3D photo, 3D butter photo, I guess. So I don't know if it's real. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. They're huge, they're kind of thick, and we're just gonna pretend that I didn't make that silly purchase. So, <laughs> here we are with these two postcard sets. And again, like I said in my in hyphen <laughs> binder, I really do love a good postcard set and especially when it's seven members and they do a group photo card because then it just looks really nice all together. So here we have them. They're looking so, so cute. And these are the two costumes that are also in the photo cards. This is, I think, costume B, and the purple is costume A, I believe. But, definitely happy to have these and to be adding them to my collection. I love the purple outfits a whole lot. <laughs> They just look so good. Purple is one of my favorite colors. It's actually my husband's favorite color, so it works out nicely. <laughs> that BTS is, you know, kind of related to purple. At least I think of BTS when I think of purple. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> but those look so good. They look so soft. And this like concept too. But yay. And JK with his blonde hair. Superior. But wow. Whew, so much goodness in here. Ugh. Don't look at that. <laughs> okay, we'll finish this binder out here, but let's move on. to my kind of DVD collab binder. <laughs> okay, so here is the next BTS binder. This is one of the binders that is getting kind of full. 
Um, and this binder is a variety of things, let me just say that. <laughs> but I have recently nicely organized um, and added in these dividers, which I think really help like not only like clean it up a little bit, make it a little more straight lined and clean, but also helped me in my own mental space keep, stay organized um, because this binder does house a lot of different things. So first things first, we have DVD type photo cards. So that's gonna include like memories, concert DVDs, winter packages, special photo books, anything like that will go in here. So this first page is older like photo cards. So I have Jim and Smith Muster here. I have Jim and 2019 DVD photo card. Still looking for a trade for my Yoongi to Jim in um, for the Blu-ray, but I just put white fillers in the rest. I would love nothing more than to have Jimin's older DVD type photo cards, but those are kind of really hard to find and they're really expensive. And so I don't know, just white fillers for now. <laughs> but this page, this page is about to get full and it's gonna make my heart so, so happy. <laughs> I do have so many Jimin to put away, love it. Um, I finally have this Jimin Blue um, concept photo book photo card. I tried really hard to find a trade for him. Um, I had a Hobie and I just couldn't find a trade. And so I ended up selling the Hobie and then bought him off of Mercari Japan. But I'm so excited to have him and to finally include him on this page. And the next we have Jimin. Oh, so happy. I think I pulled Namjoon and then traded, oh no, I had Namjoon, traded for Yoongi, and then traded for Jimin, maybe? I am forgetting at this time. I am, everything has blocked out. All I know is that I have Jimin. <laughs> and I'm so happy to have him. Next is the Jimin Map of the Soul 1 DVD photo card did not pull him either blanking no actually i pulled namjoon for this one i don't remember who i pulled for maybe i pulled yoongi i might have pulled yoongi and then i pulled namjoon but either, either way either way i have jimin happy to have jimin and then the most blessed of blessed pulls this jimin finally finally came home and I didn't record it. It was the day I wasn't like totally feeling up to recording and I pulled Jimin. Oh, but literally like my last opportunity to pull Jimin and he came home. Like I was so emotional, but so happy to have him and so happy that I pulled him. And so this photo card, it just means a whole, whole lot to me. I'm so happy that I can put him right here in this page and to have this page complete. And so my idea behind splitting these two pages was that these would be older, but this page is literally all the photo cards from any kind of DVD or special kind of package, like the winter package or the photo books. All of this was from 2021. And so I think it worked out nicely that it can fit on this eight pocket or nine pocket page with a nice just white filler in the middle, but I like it. I think it works. Let me know down below if you think this looks nice in this kind of setup, but yeah, I thought really hard about if I wanted to keep like the photo books together all up here and then put the winter package here. But I was like, eh, I kind of like it in order. So I don't know. <laughs> It works for me and it makes me happy so hey here we are um, <laughs> and then I do have like some of the other DVD larger inclusions that I mainly have of just Jim and some of some of them I do have of Yoongi as well um, again winter packages and seasons greetings and all of that is here so I have Jimin's 2020 and 2021 seasons greetings and then I do have both of Jimin's 
any of these um, winter package foam strip thing. Um, but then, yeah, I do have it split to go into. These are the collabs um, that BTS does, collabs or ads or anything like that. So I do have two things. I have the McDonald's um, photo cards and then I have Yoongi's wallet PC. Um, and I do have Jimin's on the way. I just secured that last night. So I'm really thankful to have those. But this is that section that I plan to put them in. I think here is where I was going to put Yoongi. I think. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put Yoongi here. And then we'll put Jimin's there once I get him. And I still would love to find Jimin's Coca-Cola photo cards. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. This is kind of just like that random page, but literally every page kind of has several different things. Like this page has the Chilsun and the Fila. This page has Samsung, as well as um, the Body Friend photo cards as well. So it's just whatever I think is cute, whatever I like, I usually just get. Then for this page, we'll add McDonald's. <laughs> Jimin with his chicken nuggets and Yoongi with his fries. At least I have a meal. I don't have a drink, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Water is good for you. So I will add them here. Now, that is it for the smaller um, inclusions with my collaborations or ads. Um, and then the next section is of course the Daikon magazines or D-Icon magazines. Um, and then next is kind of like photo book kind of thing. So this was from the fact, the BT, it's BTS time, like the fact book. Um, and then we have the one concept photo book inclusions. And then this is the section I want. <laughs> this section is then my muster and concert yes muster and concert these so I do have I do have these but again I am still waiting on my Angie Jack pockets that will fit these tickets in them in the six um, pockets so we're gonna save these for next time but I do have those to put away as well as these sets from the DVDs. <laughs> so this is where we're going to put these because they are a concert DVD inclusion. So first I'm going to take out Yoongi and Jimin because they will be on the first page <laughs> because they are my bias. <laughs> well, bias and bias record. So I'm gonna put them there and then I'm just going to put the rest of them kind of in order on the back. This Jimin filter photo, like literally, brings me life. Brings me life. And this Yoongi, I don't know. They really did choose some fantastic photos for these. <laughs> Truly, some of the best. I mean, look at Hobie's. Like, I just, I love this Hobie so much. <laughs> um, and then because JK is my third bias, <laughs> my bias line, he'll go there. Hobie will go here, and then Tay will go on the back of Hobie. And yeah, that completes these. I love adding these kinds of things to my binder, but again, I'm going to have to do a little bit of switcherooing because it's getting full. It's getting full. Okay. And then the next section is just kind of like TV kind of thing. So in the soup, like TV shows or movies, that's that section. <laughs> this section is memories. So we have this year's memory photo set which is a little sad because I I pulled two Jimins and no Tay so if anyone has a Tay and wants a Jimin let me know I mean I'm not complaining that my bias came home twice but I have no Tay 
so that makes me a little sad <laughs> so yeah yeah it, it does make me a little sad but again I do like to put Jimin Yoongi and JK on the front and then we'll put Namjoon on the front because he is our fearless leader He's gonna go here because he isn't gonna have anyone behind him. I'm gonna set this Jimin aside. <laughs> um, Jin is going to go on the back of Jimin. And then Hobie is gonna go on the back of Yoongi. And then eventually Tay will go on the back of JK if I can find a Tay. So, again, if you have a Tay and you want a Jimin, let me know. Because <laughs> I would really love to complete this set if I had Tay. So, yay, Jimin. <laughs> but happy to have those in here, love it. And then last but not least, I do have the 2019 photo set so let's put those in here as well which will go here <laughs> now I do already have both Jimin and Yoongi's up in the front so um, which is nice but I do now have an OT7 set which is also nice And then we'll put Jin behind Jimin. Hobie behind Yoongi. And Tay behind JK. I love these photos so much. They're just it makes them a whole lot more real just to see like these behind the behind the scenes shots but yay they are in there and complete and that is it for this binder so let's end here for this binder um, and let me grab my next one okay this is the last binder and again this is the fullest um, binder and the reason why I need to update <laughs> of my binders um this is my mini photo card binder pretty much um it does have other things in it that go along with most of the mini card mini photo cards so this is going to be pretty much pours musters any kind of like mini photo card special sets that like get released um so we have we have a lot we have a lot here <laughs> um i start with the earliest to the most recent um, and anything that was prior to me becoming ARMY is going to be just Jimin. Um, I just don't think I'll be able to afford both Jimin and Yoongi especially with these older sets that um, there aren't as many <laughs> out there right now or anymore. So I became ARMY um, right before Map of the Soul 7, so in August of 2019. So Map of the Soul 7 was the first, the tour mini photo cards were the first photo cards, mini photo card sets um, that I was army for. And so that moving forward is where I collect Jimin, Yoongi, and the units. Um, anything further back, I mainly just collect Jimin. <laughs> so this is why you'll see all these Jimin sets. <laughs> And then, oh, this is gonna make me so, 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 so happy. I finally have this Jimin. Here he is. It took me forever, but we are here. And we love seeing a completed mini photo card page. <laughs> and then um, I do try to, as often as possible, collect one of each member for the other sets. And since this was a 
um, like kind of like a re-release drop. I did get a few packs this last time during muster, I think it was, maybe, possibly, or Festa, I don't remember, but I grabbed a few of those packs, um, and so since I did grab some packs, I did keep um, some of the other members to create a page um, just for them, and I am looking for the other unit um, to go here, so we'll see. And then I did grab the photo, uh, the clip, clipboard. <laughs> so then I do have the light stick, a map of the soul. Um, I think this is the map of the soul special edition. Yes. <laughs> um, and then we have Bang Bang Con. No, no, sorry. Map of the soul tour. Um, yes. And then we have Bang Bang Con. Nothing to update there. Army membership. Map of the soul one. We have some B, we have Muster from this year, Sowuzo, Sowuzo, so, 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 Wuzu. I don't know, <laughs> but we have them <laughs> all here, um, and then we have the Hide Insights along with some more of those, and we have the Butter. Look at all of these empty pages. We're gonna add so much here. Um, we have quite a bit, as you can see. We have the permission to dance on stage photo cards. Um, and then we also have the Dalmajung um, Chusak photo cards as well. So let's just go for it. We're gonna start with Jimin. Most of these I do have all of them, so that is nice, <laughs> but I am missing maybe one or two from the Chusek photo cards. Now, okay, somebody needs to tell me because, because this photo card, um, you know, would typically like go this way, right? But the wording is this way, which doesn't make sense because my Yoongi, my Yoongi card that is like this, the wording is this way, but look at Jimin's, it's this way. But then what also doesn't make sense is that the wording isn't spaced the right way for like it to be this way, you know? like. Can somebody else show me their Gemin 4 and tell me if this back is like right? Because I actually pulled this card. I didn't trade it. So I don't know if this is like a manufacturing printing error that they accidentally printed it um, vertical instead of horizontal. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. And so now like my OCD heart wants it to be this way because the wording all needs to be the same. But if I put it that way, he's gonna be upside down. So, a dilemma, <laughs> a full dilemma. And now I'm going to have to put it this way and the word's gonna be weird on the back. I don't know, did I get a messed up pack? <sighs> Somebody tell me somebody send me a picture of the back of their gem and four because I, I don't know I, I don't know what's going on and yeah we're at that point but literally why would we have seven vertical and then one horizontal like what is up with that but you know what just gonna go with it because Jimin looks beautiful. I have teacup Jimin. The world is perfect and he is perfect. So here we are. All right. <sighs> We're just gonna ignore this card. Don't just don't look at that card and we'll be okay. <laughs> and then we have a Yoongi set as well. These photo cards are some of the like most beautiful photo card sets. I really do love these sets a whole lot and I'm so happy that I did get them because just look at him. They all look so good. 
This Yoongi sitting on the floor one just makes my heart so happy. Oh, he looks so good. Yay. Love it. But again, look, only like just one. I really wish they would just pick one and stick with it. <laughs> okay, this next page is going to be um, one of each member. So I picked my favorite from each member and decided to keep one per member. But <laughs> they're all so cute. It was so hard to decide which ones I wanted, but I did pick a few. I do like that this came with that special photo card, so I'm gonna use it as a filler up here. I think it works out nicely. I do need to trim it a little bit. It is a little long, but I kind of like it there. <laughs> and then I had to keep Tay guitar because, well, just had to. And then I had to have Jungkook phone, photo booth, and then I just couldn't. I couldn't resist. I had to keep this JK too because <sighs> just look at him. Had to keep it. Had to keep it. So two JKs. <laughs> and then this is the group photo card that came with the sets if you ordered the um, pack of them. And so I have, I actually have two of these. <laughs> and you know what? I love a group photo card. So it really works out, finishes this page nicely. I did not realize that that JK is the only white bag and the rest of them are um, orange. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Um, and then again, I do have another one of these, so I wanted to keep it and put it on this page because I did decide to collect OT7 for all the special photo cards so it works nicely to have a group here. So we have everyone's as well. I pulled really good variety in these um, photo cards and so it really helped out and then I did a, a just literally just a few trades with close friends, made maybe one or two trades on Instagram and was done. Like, ah, my the best luck I've ever had with mini photo cards, especially after having such bad luck with Bang Bang Con last year. This was a blessing. Um, but yeah, this page looks so good too. I really do love it a whole lot. And then we have the units. So thankfully both of the unit sets had four, so it works nicely. Um, to just put them all on one page. So I think for units, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and down this way, instead of like going across like this, like I usually do. <laughs> um, but I think it still looks nice. Like this. <laughs> And then we'll do it the other unit set. Which at least, okay, I will say, at least the units were the same number. <laughs> so that they could, you know, look at least even here. But still cute, love these units a whole lot. Okay, and then, we have the Damajum Chosek photo cards, and I'm only collecting Jimin and Yoongi for these. Um, I'm not going to be collecting any other members or doing a page of one of each member. I mean, I might, but it just depends on what I have left because they limited the packs to only three um, packs during the pre-order or the first round at least of pre-order which kind of sucked because I think the second round of pre-order you could order up to like I don't even know eight or ten or something like that crazy <laughs> but so I only got three packs 
So here we are. <laughs> but I did pretty good. So these have numbers on the back. I don't know how it's going to show up once I have all of the cards. I am still waiting on two of my Gemins to come in from trades. And so I'm just going to put them in order of number. And then once I have them all here, I might rearrange them in my next binder update. So we'll see um, <laughs> how that goes. But I don't have 33, but I do have 34 and 35 and 36. Um, and then I do have 37, 38. I am waiting for a trade for um, 39. And then I do have 40, which is one of the special cards. So yeah, I think that looks okay for now. I'm just missing these two. <laughs> And the backs of these are just stunning. Like some of my absolute favorite photo cards, like I love them a whole lot. Um, and then I do have um, Yoongi's to put away. And again, I am missing two, but they are on the way. I was thankful to um, have been able to find some trades. Oh no, how am I missing? Did I skip a pocket? Hmm, I didn't, I need another pocket. <laughs> okay, had to grab another pocket because <laughs> I forgot to add one for Yungi. Okay, so I am missing his 17, I think. So then we have 18. 19, 20, um, 21, and then I am still missing 22, then I have 23 special and 24 special. So missing these two. <laughs> But they, again, are on the way. So thankful to have found trades for these and could get these done pretty quickly. Um, and so once I get all of those trades in, I think I'll just kind of reevaluate and see what I have left. And if I'm able to do like a page with one of all the other members, then I might do that. <laughs> but um, we were kind of just restricted with how many packs we could get. And so I didn't get a whole lot. Um, but so happy to have gotten a few of these and these truly are some of the most beautiful photo cards um, that they've ever done and as, especially the designs on the back are just stunning but so happy to have those um, and yeah that is it for BTS let me gather my binders back into frame and we'll close this probably extremely long um, photo card update um, video out Okay, so that is it for this photo card storing binder update, Hive edition. Um, today I got to update my Hypen TXT and BTS photo card binders. So many goodies that I put away, so many pages complete, and um, many pages are in the progress. And so I'm really excited to be making um, so much progress with a lot of these uh, collections and just to see these pages and binders getting full is just bringing me so so much joy and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a great day and night 